Is God allowing war? Why would God allow war? It's not necessarily that quote unquote God is or isn't. It's that the agencies, under the agencies, under the agencies, they will do what they will within this field of a free will zone. So the free will zone, there's different niche reasons why war could happen, but within the complexity and the uh, multifacetedness and the different types of numerical expressions, the numerical expressions eventually will go towards some type of simplification process, oneness process, or zero point process. What do I mean by that? Eventually the reasons will collapse in on themselves and you will um, have more, more, more of less. It's something like a, a process of reduction. You know, it, it's a reduction process and we're reducing, you know, all the, the external various multiplication reactions and we're going behind the multiplication reactions to see like what could have caused it, you know. So the different reasons in how we war to begin with, well, we can't do anything without this, you know, um, this component and this notion of of having having the form itself, you know, having the form itself could be respected, be likened to to something of like a quote unquote feminine nature, end quote. And I and I don't want to be long winded with that because that could mean so many different things. But I'm just saying like what what is materially feminine is what takes um what, what takes a form within a form, you know, what harbors a form. So within what ultimately a form in a form is, that's ultimately some type of arena for a war to happen. So f for the arena, for a war to happen, it's something likened to a womb. <clears throat> and within that womb, based on our own discoveries of how that womb has a different original starting points of how like um, energy could be transitioned and transformed from a certain threshold of container from spirit to matter. But then we, we could represent that differently, you know, and when we represent that, so that's one of the, that's one of different examples is um, when we represent that differently then there's like a, um, there's a bias going on. And within that bias, that's one subtle reason. That's one subtle reason why there could be an indifference, you know? And then on the flip side of that, you know, whatever we're ultimately getting the, the any context of power from, unbeknownst to us on the deepest level, it is the different context is of the divine family. And the different contexts of the divine feminine is um, it's uh, it's giving us the um, the bartering leverage and the and, and something of a leniency to even have form to begin with and for and for us to receive form and as we so that's a different proxy component we're receiving as well and as we're receiving different alchemical uh, combustions within us. Well, by inevitably within our micro instrument expression of ourselves, it will need to have some type of quote unquote different types of, you know, expressional discharge, end quote. And within that, you know, um, that's just like something of like a chemical uh, combustion, which could be perceived as war. So it's like, what if there's no war going on? It's just like on one level, it's just the human's perceptions making that up as an illusion and none of the war is going on just on one layer we're making that up and we're perceiving it to be like that when that's not even a thing and then underneath that we're being biased within how we're representing you know the same feminine source but it, it's coming at different um vantage points and angles and as it comes at different vantage points and angles 
we have, um, for some reason, we want to um, prove that one thing is better than the other one. In, in reality, they're kind of like the same thing. It's just at a different vantage point and a different temperament of, of whatever, you know, um, format of the container you're actually like in participating in and more or less, you know, surpassing collectively or individually or both, you know. So within all that, underneath those two reasons, the the the, uh, the original reason could be um, from those after those two reasons. Those two reasons came after of like we're we're kind of like now we have to like go to pay it back. You know that's like the first reason we have to go to like now like one context in the faction of the divine feminine, not getting too lost in the words. It's making us pay back what we, you know, what we're expending. So since we have to pay back, now we're on an internal level, we're doing anything that we can to try to pay it back within our illusion and our bias. Now we need to pay it back. So those are the three reasons why war is even caused to begin with, you know? So not, cause like, like we have to like, what are we ultimately paying back? Is it like, is it like, is, is like, is different contexts of like Cali real, you know? Because aside from like, you know, the whole like material spiel and how that ever changes and how there's different representations of a lineage that, you know, could like ultimately like, not necessarily just rule, but like actually fulfill a duty and a position and a responsibility to actually like maintain the operations on how, you know, the foundation of the government is even a thing, you know, that like there has to be some type of foundation of of the government intelligence because if there wasn't then what would it what would everything like rely on as far as like how things are how operations are maintained you know so that's like the casual three causes to war and this is this is i i did like a lot of writing i could have done like a you know like a two-hour podcast yesterday based on my notes seeing the diagram i put uh, i written up and then just kind of free flowing from there because i did it in the past on instagram but that's not the point here so I'm just saying, like, I'm just casually saying, what are the three causes to war? And maybe there's, an, maybe there's another cause, and, and the fourth cause is just like seeing, like, you know, the the combination of all that. And then the fifth cause would just be like some type of chaos, right? You know, so that, like just the, na the the natural, the the other pro the the proxy chaos, and then the fifth would be like, you know, just like a combination of those, you know, seeing like the quote unquote intricacies of like all those reasons. So, thank you.